this one, okay? I'm merely going to read a headline we picked up from the internet concerning two lovely looking cats, one called Spider, one called Lugosi, maybe after Bella Lugosi was Dracula. Um, Their owner is very keen on them, very fond of them. Their owner has their initials tattooed on her right leg, which is S and L. She's also done something else with her cats. We're about to meet her. What's new, pussycat? Barbarella joins us now, Barbarella Buckner, live from Lanzarote with, I hope, somewhere nearby, both Spider and Lugosi. Good morning, Barbarella. Good morning. OK, so you've got the tattoos of the cat's initials, I think, on your right leg. I haven't checked yet, but maybe I'll have a look later. But also, you've got a slightly closer relationship with your cats than many cat owners have. We all love our cats, but you've taken it, I think, one stage further. What have you done, Barbarella? Um, I married my cats. To each other? Uh, no, to myself. <laughs> okay. A lot of questions now spring to mind. The first one is, okay. h- how did you actually do that? Was it an official ceremony or did you just decide we're married? Uh, no. Um, I was in the, in the Sun newspaper the other, uh, well, last year or so, and uh, they said I had this ceremony at home and I wore a dress with cats on and all that. That is totally untrue. They totally made that up, you know. All that happened was um, I was at work, uh, this, this is like, uh, when was this, in uh, 2004. Okay, so about... Like, uh, uh, 12 years ago. Okay. And uh, I, uh, I came across this website, I was surfing the web, as you do at work, you know, secretly, and uh, it's called marryyourpet.com, and I just had a look around the site, and I thought, Oh my God! You know, I could, I should do this. This is a, something I just had. To hold do, it right there, know? but hold it right there, but when you said, "Oh my God, I should do this," most of us would think, "Quite funny." Move on. Why do you think this was for you to marry not one but two cats? Well, first of all, because I, I really love them to bits. They're my soulmates, literally. And uh, secondly, it's just something I just had to do because I'm a really wacky person anyway. You know, this is something wacky that I just had to do. So uh, it was it was all done online. There was what, no what, ceremony what, or anything. What, what did it cost you, Bob? I've seen your certificate, which says this is to certify that on the 9th day of January 2004, Barbara Lebuchner and Spider Negosi were united in holy matrimony online by MarryYourPet.com. How much did that cost you? Uh, 10 euros, or 10, 10 pounds, I think it was. And did Spider and Lugosi go out for a stag night before they got hitched to you? <laughs> no, I, actually, I did that all behind their backs, you know. I came home and said, look, I'm married to you. And they were like, yeah, all right. <laughs> OK, now, what have your family, or indeed, if you've got any, your friends said about this? Oh, thank you. I, I do have friends, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only cheated. <laughs> I know, I know. Um... Uh, basically, uh, my, my family and my friends, they take me as I am. Uh, they, they know me that I'm a bit eccentric, a bit bit wild and weird. So uh, the, the trouble is, though, they, they I kind mean, of expect that sp- kind of thing sp- of Speaking me. on behalf, though, of the RSPCA, which I'm not entitled to, what you've done, I'm afraid, Barbarella, marrying two cats, is commit bigamy, illegal in Lanzarote and in this country. Well, they, just just to get the... Criminal. Back, You're, I'm, I'm talking to a criminal. Though. I'm talking to a criminal from the Canary Islands. <gasps> That's why I live in the Canary Islands. I fled. <laughs> But um, no, on a serious note, um, it, it was just, um, uh, there, there's, there, first of all, there's no sex involved, right? That's just something that I have to make clear. Marriage doesn't always mean sexual relations. No. And especially with animals, that is just no. a disgusting uh, thing anyway. In fact, that's not a th- thing we even want to talk about on talk radio. We take that as a given. <laughs> However, did you, exactly. did, you, did you get to go on a honeymoon? Uh, no, that that's not true either, because uh, the Sun newspaper also made that up. I actually See, just moved here. I what, didn't go on a honeymoon. What, what, I, fi- what I find yeah. odd is, you know, and I'm, I, I don't know the facts and the ins and outs of the Sun. I know they like to make the most of a story, but why they need to exaggerate a story in which a woman admits she's married her two cats, I've got no idea. But it's a fantastic story. When's your wedding anniversary? Exactly. Then? We've, so it's next January, isn't it? You've got another wedding anniversary. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> good luck with that. Bar- they're, they're already very old, you know. They're in, in oh. years. They're about ninety. Although, of course, we, we spoke to sugar daddy cats. <laughs> we, we spoke to a cat owner this morning who's got the oldest cat we think in the world, and it's in cat years 121. So I hope you, Spider and Negosi, are happy for many years to come. Thank you very much indeed. She's a great sport. 
if ever so slightly bonkers, Barbara Buckner there on Talk Radio. They say there's more out than in. I think we've just had proof of that, Julia Hartley Brewer. I thought you were talking about me. Great sport, but a bit bonkers.